we've got with us now Adrian Goldberg and John Scales of course as well. We're here for the launch of Fair Game. Chaps, tell us about it. Fair Game for me is really exciting. I've been campaigning since the mid-80s when I started a football fanzine and it was all about, at that time, a lot of focus on the hooligans on the terraces. I was concerned about the hooligans in the boardroom <laughs> who were putting clubs at risk and who were putting individual fans at risk, tragically as we discovered both at Bradford and at Hillsborough. So the idea now that we've got supporters coming together with clubs and with politicians to try and build a positive fan-friendly future, that's that's incredible for me. John, you've seen football at every level in this game, from the top level down to grassroots. Tell us about your involvement. Well, I was approached by Niall Cooper, who, who is obviously on the Don's Trust owners of Wimbledon, and, you know, I didn't realise then, I, I think, fast forward six months where we'd be today, and it's it's really exciting to be launching the manifesto uh, here at Plough Lane, of course, where I had a great career and uh, enjoyed myself. But uh, I think it is, It's uh, you know, as we've just been hearing there, it's about pulling all the various stakeholders, like-minded clubs, like-minded people like myself, people within the game and around the game who can bring and add different things, the experts, the academics we've got involved, writing and providing these solutions for the game to improve it. Um, you know, it, it's just a groundbreaking moment. And it's it's not like we haven't been here before. It's like protecting really the sort of the game from the hooligans in the boardroom in a different way now, the reckless people who, you know, take control of the game for, for, for self-profit or for greed or whatever else and, and cast aside that sort of custodianship that as fans we all want to see and people involved in the game want to see treated better, the values, the principles of the game held up high and, and held in the highest regard. And I think the ESL was a great example where the fan backlash and everything else realised you know, things with the tide was turning again, and here we are. So uh, I'm really excited to be part of this and, and be involved and lending my name to this uh, this campaign.